Hi guys, today I'm on my toy hunt. Right now I'm at Target. They have a lot of Hatchimal stuff as well as Shopkins, which I'm on the hunt for the new Shoppies dolls and it looks like they have some. Ooh, the Melanie Pips one. Um, she's the bunny one. I haven't seen her before. They have the Peppermint, which she's gorgeous. Um, they also have, let's see, the Lamb one, which is super cute. And then Freya Froyo. They don't have any of the new shop pets though, which I was hoping to find some matching ones, but she's adorable. Look at her little folded down bunny ears and paws. Oh, this is Pippa Melon. What did I say Melanie Pips? Who is that? That's a Shopkins. <laughs> so Pippa Melon, super cute. Now her shop pet is the little bunny that comes in the play set. So there's the monkey one. I still need the monkey Shoppies doll. Um, and then here's the bunny one. So she comes with the little hoppy juice stand. <laughs> and they look adorable together. Oh, that's really cute. I just love the, the little match of characters. That's awesome. I need to find, I think Donatina is the one for the squishy tribe with the monkey. Looks like they also have some Wave 2 uh, Shopkins packs as well. So, super cool. And they have some happy places. And then on the other side of the aisle, this is where they have like the LOL, the Pick Me Pops. Um, looks like they have a couple of the Glitter Surprise and Confetti Pop. But that's like the Series 1. They also have the Season 2 Pick Me Pops. They have a, another like big case back there of the little single packs as well as the two packs. And these plushies, I've been tempted to get, oopsies, one of the plushies. I like the little doggy one. It's hard to pick up one-handed, but um, he's really cute. Let me set him up. The unicorn looks awesome too, but I've, I've never seen that one in captivity just yet. <laughs> and on the end cap, they have the Pick Me Pop Push Me Ups. Which those are really cute. Um, that little bird there and the cat carrying the, <laughs> the little bubble gum piece. That's so cute. Those are really fun as well. And then in back where the blind bags are, they have these new squishums, which are these little food squishy keychain things. And I think they're small. They took the sample there. But um, I think they're small, kind of like the generic looking squishies, but more squishy items on the market is always good. And then the Yummy World Snack Attack, which those are adorable. I know there's a new series out too, but um, I might pick up a few of these. I just, I love the Yummy World little food design. We have some older surprisimals. So cool stuff, the Banania Cat. <laughs> those are, are pretty cute as well. And then some Pokemon stuff in back. Ooh, they have the Pikachu friendship pack. With that comes with the keychain and the card. I got the Mimikyu one a while back. Um, that one's cute. And then in the Num Num section, some of you pointed out last week that this box is the Wave 2 characters. And it does have a different little... Um, character on the front so that's really cool and you can tell by that little orange I think it's a crepe on the front of that box so you'll be able to find some other characters love 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 num noms they also have the slime dippers and then trolls and monster high that Cleo is very 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 pretty cool I'm glad they're still still having some monster high stuff as well as the minis and then they also have the Enchantimals, which that penguin car is <laughs> pretty cute. And then Target has the Series 2 of the little live pets. They have the blue egg, and you can get the silver chick instead of the gold chick. So um, I haven't seen these in stores yet, but they look really cute. There's like a little strawberry pink one. <laughs> so I wonder if they have different designs on their wings. But that's adorable. So I've, I've never found the, the Series 2, so they actually have a bunch. Um, so that one has a white chick, but this one has a pink chick on the front. So I wonder, I don't know if that means anything, but there's the pink one and then there's the white one. If you get certain varieties or if it's just the, the packaging. 
but cute stuff. They also have the Tamagotchi little uh, eggs. A lot of different colors. I found the fuzzy one not too long ago, which that was cool. <laughs> and then more fingerling stuff. Cute stuff. And then down the action figure aisle, they have a lot of the first series of the Grocery Gang action figures. So I know series two is out, so they have that as well as the Bug Strike. And then moving on down, some Pokemon stuff. They still have this big set. I'm kind of waiting for it to go on sale. I like all those little mini figures in there. And then the Zuru Smashers, those are a lot of fun. Little sports mini figures, which I think is really cool. I have Carbink for Pokemon. I know they're coming out with more Tomy Pokemon stuff. Hitting stores. And then Roblox. There's Stick Bots, Five Nights at Freddy's. Target still has not gotten in some of the new McFarlane buildables. They have the Funko Hero World, as well as this DuckTales figure they're making. Oh, it doesn't show on the back, but there's Scrooge McDuck. How cool is that? That'd be awesome if they made all those old school Disney afternoon figures. They just have Scrooge McDuck, but that's really cool. <laughs> I was always a Darkwing Duck fan myself. And then they have more of the Five Nights at Freddy's Hero World. Those are cool. And those are our Target exclusives. And then quick look in the Transformer section. They have Starscream for the Power of Primes. That's cool. He looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, those are all Starscreams. And then they just have some of the smaller figures. Um, an Insecticon there. And that's about it for Transformers. Okay, so I'm at the Toys R Us that is right next to Chuck E. Cheese. It was always like the Five Nights at Freddy's vibe with the <laughs> pizza-themed characters. And um, this is my go-to Toys R Us, the one I usually filmed at. And sad to see it go. So uh, let's go inside and see what's on clearance and see what they have left. Okay, so down the Shopkins aisle, they actually have a bunch of new cutie cars, which that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. They have a pumpkin car? What? I really need to open them to find the checklist. Okay, so I love the pumpkin car. Um, they also have this cookie car. Oh, they have the old hot dog one? Wow, I had never found that one. Um, let's see, the popsicle. From the new series. Oh, that's awesome. And then they also have the larger packs from series two. Cool. And then over here, they have some of the newer happy places. Oh, wow. They have that red pony. I need this one. I've never seen her before. So princess puppy garden party. Oh, she's really pretty. So that's interesting. I was at a different Toys R Us last week and they had a bunch of new toys too, but I'm sure, you know, they're just getting rid of all their, their stock. So, um, that's awesome. Definitely a score on some new toys here. I was not expecting that. They also have the cute little gourmet bear cooking class one for happy places. That's really cute. And then as you can tell, these are only 10% off and they have a lot of empty shelves. And then on this side, they have some fingerlings. And down here, oh my goodness, they have the monkey Shoppies doll. <gasps> She's the Squishy Tribe one. And I've been looking for her. How cute is that? <laughs> that is awesome. So that's the Donatina one. Oh, and I really like her vibrant colors and stuff. Super cool. And then not much num nums at all and then they also have a bunch of new uh Tsum Tsum stuff there's a full case of the series 10 blind bags that's cool i haven't seen the blind bags yet um awesome it looks like you there are some new characters i like the up characters you can get carl from up with the balloons that's awesome there's tomater and his junkyard sign so those are really cute and then they also have more of the packs. So Pua is in this pack. I didn't see him. I found some of these last week at a different Toys R Us. 
Um, oh, and they have Kevin from Up. Okay, so I really, really love Kevin. That's adorable. So cool stuff. Definitely check Toys R Us as they, you know, get rid of all their, their new toys as well. That's that's pretty cool. And then I've seen these delectables only at this Toys R Us, but they have like the Tangled series ones, as well as a Cinderella themed one, I believe. And then moving on down, there's not, again, too much left over there. They have some of the Zuru pets and stuff. And then down the My Little Pony and LPS aisle, they have um, the Toys R Us exclusive pack. And that's something I'm also going to miss. It's just all the Toys R Us exclusives, whether it's the Funko Pops, the Littlest Pet Shop, My Little Pony, all different sorts of stuff. Um, that kind of made it unique and, and special. So that's, that's really unfortunate that all those things are going to go away at this point in the game. It's a really cute set. Um, these are 10% off as well. And they have some of the Cabbage Patch ones. And then some stuffed animals. And then down their action figure aisle, not much left with Minecraft. Here's some of the Pokemon stuff. Um, again, these ones are just 10% off. They have some of the Tomies. Um, and then some of the Toys R Us exclusive Evolutions. They have Sylveon, which I was, I'm tempted. <laughs> I picked up my Jolteon at a different Toys R Us, a third Toys R Us that's, that was, uh, in the area-ish. <laughs> they also have Flareon. And then Five Nights at Freddy's, not too much. They still have a lot of Funtime Foxies, and their Roblox section's a bit picked over. But good memories at the store. I'm definitely going to miss it. And then in the grocery gang section, um, they do have some of the new Wave 2 Bug Strike, as well as this action figure of the ice cream guy. I've never seen him before. <laughs> so he's pretty cool. Um, I think he's one of the more unique ones out of the Bug Strike action figures. So... Cool stuff. They also have some of the Zuru Smashers and a variety of, of stuff thrown thrown in here. And last stop before I leave this beloved Toys R Us. Um, here's a look at the Playmobil section. They actually have some really cool large play sets. And I really, really hope that you know larger stores like Target and Walmart carry more large Playmobil sets. Um, because it's a really cool toy line and Toys R Us has been the best with this. Okay, so I am back home from my toy hunt and the rest of the video is the haul portion in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. And the first thing you see before you is this recyclable Jeffrey the Giraffe <laughs> Toys R Us tote. Um, it was actually like 69 cents I think and I picked up a few because even if Toys R Us is gone I will still drag around my little tote bag on my toy hunts in, in memory of the best toy store there ever was. So picked up those and inside I have a bunch of goodies. They actually had quite a bit of new toys as well as this awesome Playmobil set. Okay I had to raise the camera a bit. So this is the Playmobil Wildlife Preserve little set thing. I just thought it was awesome and in the past um, like three years ago when I first started Mini Toy Love a different Toys R Us went out and I remember buying a big Playmobil playset and um, then a couple years later another Toys R Us went out bought a dinosaur playset and then now at the Toys R Us that I mean literally I've been going to for for so many years I figured you know let's keep the tradition I'm gonna buy another big Playmobil set so this is actually gonna go in Mr. Bird Love's office because there's a lot of birds or wildlife stuff um, the guy is wearing a bird shirt, which I was like, okay, that's that's you. And Mr. Bird Love is oftentimes a silent partner in these videos, um, or at least on my toy hunts. He doesn't collect toys. He has no idea. He might be able to find what a num noms is if I send him down an aisle. But other than that, yeah, he he accompanies me and wanders around stores and is very patient. So anyway, I'm gonna review this and put it in his office as a memory of my my go-to Toys R Us, which I'm going to miss dearly. 
So I was really surprised to find so many new toys at that Toys R Us. I picked up the Happy Pony pack of Royal Prancer from the Princess Puppy Garden Party. I've never seen her before, so I was really excited about that, as well as the Donatina Shoppies doll. She's the little monkey from the Squishy Tribe, so that's awesome, and look at how cute. The monkey tail, the ears, oh my goodness. So that was an awesome find. That was kind of like laying down the aisle. And then also, the Shopkins Cutie Car, we we have the pickup pumpkin. How cute is that? I had no idea. I haven't opened any uh, series two cutie cars, but pumpkins, Halloween, pumpkin stuff, I'm in <laughs> for sure. So that was awesome. They also had some of the new series 10 uh, Zoom Zoom packs. So I picked up the one with Kevin. It also has the rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. So awesome stuff. Um, Again, check your Toys R Us's. They might just be getting rid of, you know, all the new toys that they, they have and kind of unloading their stock. And then one more item from Toys R Us, I picked up the Berry Delicious Cooking Class. This was 10% off and I just thought it was adorable. It has Cocoa Cookie in there and the cute little bears. So I figured why not if that's my last stop to the Toys R Us I've spent so many years at, um, might as well go out big. <laughs> so all those items with the Playmobil I picked up at Toys R Us and then my first stop was Target and I picked up a few items there too. One is the other Shoppies doll Wave 2 Wild Style of Pippa Lemon. She's the little bunny rabbit and she absolutely looks adorable. I love the big, the big paws, the floppy ears. So they did such a good job with those Shoppies Wild Style. Ah, I'm running out of room. And then at Target, I picked up three of the Series 5, which I think are the Wave 2 packs of the Num Noms uh, toys, the little blind boxes here. So, really cute. Um, can't wait to find some, some new characters that we haven't seen just yet in Series 5. So there you have it for this week's toy hunt. I'm sure many of you feel the same way that we will always be Toys R Us kids. So don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of my daily videos. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.